hello everyone uh when the whole world is towards the new dev- disruption of ai we often listen to the popular ai revolution chat gpt so i'm going to demonstrate you today that uh, how we can take help of chat gpt in developing our understanding of uh, vlsi coding let us play with something very basic let's see how how it responds consider yourself a very log language expert and generate the o of full adash so as an ai language uh, one bit full adder is generating it is also explaining the signals that it has considered it appears decent uh, code but i am not happy uh, because i want uh professional code writing for sure i'll ask for adding some comments in the code let us see in the code explain it so the first assign statement calculates the sum output using xor so yeah a lot of description is there uh so much description is not needed this is too long still i'll i'll say yeah it has done good job there are too many comments can you make the uh, structure simple with simple comments sign of a module called pulled with three inputs a b carry in the equation of sum equation of carry it is generating and at the end and module so almost everything is explained over here nicely mm let us make it a redesign it to be or bit dash let's see what does so module full adder input a of 4 bit three down to 0 b of 4 bit uh carry input is there output sum of 4 bit and carry out so yeah uh, it has taken oh it has taken the instantiation this so, calling the full adder module full adder is over here and is designed with the help of data flow modeling you can see it is calling the module four times to make it four bit full adder so again the explanation is also given over here okay let us ask for taking the test mm, bench please create the test bench for this so what will name then reg a b for bit uh, for bit of input single bit of input so inputs will be represented as a reg and output that is sum and carry out will be represented as wire support binding 
uh, with the uh, very fresh, uh, with the test bench and the uh, design file. So initial values are go given over here. A is taken 0, 0, 0, 0, B is taken 0, 0, 0, 0. 4 dash B 0, 0, 0, 0 means 4 bit of data binary. The value 0, 0, 0. So carry in initially is, is taken as 1 dash B 0. So 1 bit data binary. The value is 0. So as we know, initial is non synthesizable construct. Uh, okay. Now, uh, different values it is taking. So, A is 1, B is 1, carry, carry in is 0. So, according to that, uh, the values, different value set of values are given over here. S10 is uh, the 10 bit of time period. In these two cases, carry in is 1 dash B 0. So, 1 bit of data, binary 0. In these two cases, it is taken as uh, 1. 1 bit of data, binary 1. At the end, it is just displaying the value uh, from this from this set. So we'll be having uh, whenever we are having any change in the outcome at that time, it will be getting printed over. So still, I call it a decent code, decent code at least for for the beginner, beginner. So uh, once again, let me take you through the design single bit adder which it has generated so you can see full adder uh, all the all the all the inputs are defined inputs and outputs are all the ports are defined over here simple equation of uh, sum is over here xor a b n carry in so from the from the proof table directly the equation is defined like this carry out you can see data flow modeling a and b this is the pipe is the symbol of or Lampers is ending, so correct equation it has taken, and for the test bench also we have got uh, yeah so this is full adder uh, with the help of four bit of input four bit of uh, both both of the inputs and uh, four bit of output so four times it has called the full adder module which we have seen earlier so this is, this, is, this one is full adder module. With one bit full adder has instantiated it for the four times and we are getting test bench then after so this is how the test bench is there let us try with something different can you display the put value using a more given Four bit adder as well as paste. This is something beyond my expectation. Still, yeah, good job it is doing. It is giving the output of sum and carry with respect to A, B, N carry in. So. 1 1 plus 0 be 1 0 carry out so I can say I'm, I'm impressed with this so I do not suggest to use chat GPT for all your coding needs but at least have the illustration of coding explanation of coding and to get you the basic uh, code generator like if you are requiring some basic uh, structure combinational circuit multiplexer encoder decoder those kind of things can be created with the help of so uh, the hype that we are seeing current day in the market with the chat gpt the ai disruption is really impressive i can say similar kind of uh, activities we do regularly and we, we give you very informative and practical knowledge kind of videos on our channel uh, VLS Lectures. So don't forget liking our channel content, uh, do comment, do subscribe our channel. Also share it with your friends. 
also i'll tell you that uh, we are present on telegram quora linkedin instagram almost all platforms that you can ever imagine so stay tuned with our content and make most out of our community activities thank you very much keep learning keep enjoying take care